when I first started in this internet entrepreneurial channel, okay, when I first, you know, kind of got into cryptocurrency and, you know, went the route of explaining these emerging technologies, I didn't want to get into the short term price of crypt cryptocurrency. I didn't want to speculate on the market because of this piece of news, you know, because of this fundamental change, um, buy Bitcoin now or sell it, right? That wasn't the scope I wanted to go. I also didn't want to go the route of, you know, talking about other entrepreneurs or you know cryptocurrency advocates and all the drama that they went through to try to get more views and subscribers my i guess you can say scope and my style of cryptocurrency reporting was talking about the emerging technologies okay and one of these emerging technology that just came out it just came recently just came out blowing my mind over here is liberty os the world's first blockchain operating system Okay, guys, so in this video, I'm going to be diving deep into how to actually set it up on your computer, Mac or PC, does not matter. And I'm going to give you an overall first impression review. Keep watching. What's going on, everybody? Alex back with another cryptocurrency video. And today we're going to be talking about Liberty OS. OK, so I'm going to teach you step by step how to download this operating system on your computer so that you can get advantages as following. Liberty OS is the first blockchain operating system heavily focused on user privacy, security, speed, stability and accessibility. Liberty OS combines a novel token model with blockchain centric advertising platform to radically transform user experiences users get smoother faster cleaner secure data safe systems and can earn cash by opting into pre-screened anonymous non-intrusive ads so guys i am very 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 excited for this new piece of technology why because i love the brave browser if you guys have have never heard of it it's basically a token that use it's a browser that uses a token basic attention token and you, you can block ads. And if you actually let the ads display or show, you can get paid for it. It basically monetizes your attention and it rewards you for doing that because there's so many inefficiencies on the internet. Pe people basically taking advantage of you um, that most people don't know about. So you can use the Brave browser to kind of you know make it decentralized by nature. Now we have a whole operating system that was just launched to do the same thing but for you, do you guys understand what I mean by decentralization of the internet, the next infrastructure, see how these new products are coming out to basically now I bet you the next one is going to be a cryptocurrency operating system on the phone. You can upload it to your Android phone and get all the security features of blockchain immutable, you know, algorithms, right? Um, so let me stop rambling before I get started, guys. If you haven't already subscribed to my channel, my name is Alex. I talk about everything Internet entrepreneurial uh, for sure. You know, the recent and recent uh, time I've been talking more about cryptocurrency, but I do upload different types of videos. So if you're looking to make money on the Internet, this is definitely the channel for you. All you have to do is hit that subscribe button as well as the push notification bell so you can get videos like this all the time. OK, so I want to like this is practical advice. I'm not showboating. right? I'm showing you a literal, you know, I guess you can say operating system that I personally I recently just purchased an extra hard drive to put it on my computer. And what I plan on doing is running all my cryptocurrency operations when I upload, you know, when I when I get into my main wallet, um, my, my most, you know, the wallet where I hold the majority of my money, my cold storage wallet. That's what I'm going to be using. Why? Because there could potentially be malware that's placed on your computer that its only sole purpose is to record your, you know, I guess you could say your passwords of the various wallets. I mean, I'm not trying to scare you guys, but this is a possibility, especially for me being a cryptocurrency YouTuber. And the fact that people have, you know, hundreds of thousands of people have access to view my videos. You know, I want to be as safe as possible with managing my cryptocurrency. So when I access it from here on out, it's going to be through this operating system. Hence why I bought a new hard drive to put in my computer so I can access this operating system only on that hard drive. If you guys understand what I'm trying to say, I'm basically trying to increase the security of how I manage my cryptocurrency. OK, and I'm, I'm using it through this operating system and while using it you know it, it got crazy i started realizing that you know there's a lot this is like right up my alley guys <laughs> this operating system is right up my alley it basically has a lot of features that i'm going to be using it's probably going to be my workstation you know it's, i'll have my you know windows for gaming and, and editing some videos maybe but then i'll have a workstation when i'm doing research on these various cryptocurrency projects or doing something where i don't want to look at my gaming 
you know, have the temptation to be able to go play Call of Duty 4, I'll use Liberty, right? If you understand what I'm saying. But basically, I'm going up to upload it. This is, this is what it looks like. It's kind of like a, it's Linux. It's run on Linux. And it gives you kind of the Mac vibe, right? As you can see, like the icons below like that, right? And basically, this is running on Oracle, which is a virtual machine running on my actual Windows software. So you can technically have your whole computer, you know, migrate to liberty os but for now i'm just gonna have the virtual box be used you know so i can you know keep it efficient just in case because this is the beta right this is guys i'm talking about this blockchain but none of this is verified this is like first impressions so keep that in mind as i use it more and more i'll be giving more reviews okay guys so let me just go into the tutorial real quick and show you guys how to do it if you want the review on it just skip to the end but let me go straight to the tutorial because i know a lot of people are going to have trouble with this just same way i did so the first thing you want to do is download something called oracle virtual box right so oracle virtual box there you go virtual box download that okay you can get it for windows you can get it for mac whatever you know download this right windows host mac if you have linux whatever you want download that and it's basically going to take you to a virtual machine so it's going to partition a certain percentage of your drive and take a certain amount of your so if you don't understand how computers work you have your cpu you have your gpu and you have your memory your ram right so it's going to take a little bit of your hard drive um, now the recommended for this operating system is going to be 30 gigs minimum so if you want to play around with it you know you can use the 30 gigs and then you want to basically take two uh gigabytes of memory okay this is all the recommended i'm obviously going to up that when i get my new hard drive you know and make it a little bit more a little bit faster when i have my workflow but just to if you guys want to play around with it it takes like 30 minutes to install it's fairly simple so to get virtual box here and then what you're going to do is you're going to actually download the operating system you can come to their website right here and then you click uh basically right here operating system i had a little trouble their, their link is a little bit messed up it just goes to this page for some reason but what you want to do is click right here, Liberty OS. It's the, it's the download statistics. I don't know why they send you to this page. But right here, click Liberty OS. And there you go. It's downloaded right here. So you just click that download button. And it's going to give you, excuse me for my desktop and how dirty it is, but it's going to give you this right here, Liberty OS, okay? I usually clean it like Sundays, but yesterday I was extremely bu busy. But right here, Liberty OS, VirtualBox. These are the two things that you need, okay? So once you have these two right here, what you want to do is you want to open VirtualBox. First thing, I want to close my Liberty OX because I'm just going to do a brand new one, power off the machine. I'm going to do a brand new one and show you in real time exactly how to do it. So you double click this, Virtual, and then once you have this, it's free, it's 100% free. You click New, okay? You're going to create, basically you're creating, again, a new kind of like desktop. Now, right here, you want two gigabytes, megabytes, there's a thousand megabytes and one gigabyte. So you want to do 2000, okay, for your memory size and put the name, whatever you want to call it, maybe computer desktop two or something like that. So let's just put two for now, whatever, because I'm not going to actually make it. And then you want to create a virtual disk now, you press create, okay? Now it's going to save a file location, depending on what hard drive you want to use in your computer, you can pick a file location. Um, specifically when I import my new one, I'm going to put it in a different hard drive. So like you can see here, I have two hard drives, right? I'm going to put it in a new one when it comes in. I already ordered it off Amazon. Okay, let me exit that. I've been needing to get a new hard drive anyways for my video editing. Okay, so you want to do virtual box disk image right here, and you have at least 30 gigabytes. Now, this is like, obviously, like I told you guys, this is um, the recommended. Eventually, I'm going to do more so my computer can run faster and all that stuff. And then you're going to press create. Okay, now, again, make sure you have 30 gigabytes, right? So this is my first one that I made. This is the second one. These are basically virtual desktops. These are virtual computers to which you can install something on, which is an operating system. An operating system, in this case, we're using is Liberty OS. So what you want to do is press start. Okay, when you press start, the first thing that's going to come up is this right here. Select, start, select startup disk. Okay, the startup disk that we're using is the one that we just downloaded, the Liberty OS. It's a weird file. Most people don't know what this type of file is, but basically this is going to go on the virtual box. Mine automatically comes up, but if it doesn't come up for you, wherever you save this file, all you have to do is press this right here, and then you go to add, and then for example, mine's on the desktop, so I'll double click that on the desktop and it will pop up the same way. Okay, so once you press start right there, it's gonna run. It's going to do a whole bunch of operations in the background. You want to boot. So the first thing you want to do is you want to boot Liberty OS right here. Okay. You want to click the first one, just press enter. 
okay and it's going to do a whole bunch of stuff in the background okay and while that's being done i'm just going to minimize this really quickly and then i'm going to come over here so i can show you guys kind of like a overall rundown i'm going to start this one hopefully it doesn't mess up my computer or something like that but let's start the the operating system I already have so basically while that's running you're always going to get this option right here let me just see what's happening over here in the background yeah you're going to see like this like a whole bunch of code just being you know unpacked from the operating system it's gonna it's gonna run and i'm just gonna put that down and then once it's done installing you actually have to physically install the operating system which i'll show you i'll show you exactly what i'm talking about let me but let me just boot the operating system so i can show you guys what it is it's basically run on linux and it's like the same thing guys like it's i don't know i mean i'm gonna be testing it out i'm not sitting here saying that you know it's the best thing that's ever created because i don't know i just like the fact that it's running the blockchain and there's no centralized authority to run the operating system and it's just a little bit more secure um it's going to take a little while to load up because i got these two things running as well as my recording software to record this video so keep that in mind all right so let me so look it's just like a regular operating here let me make it full screen for you guys all right it's going to jump up make through screen okay let me log in really quickly the reason why it's slow again is because i'm using a small amount of ram to run it and i'm using you know very low um memory so like it doesn't have a lot of disk space it only has 30 gigs think about that but the whole point of this was to make it so that it runs like very low profile so i think they what they want to do is have it like on usb drive so when you go access like to say for example you go to a different country and you want to access your cryptocurrency you could just have it on the usb drive plug it into the computer open it up and then you can access your cryptocurrency without even you know the computer being an intermediary in any way shape or form okay so you can see it has all it's really cool guys like it has these cool like it's called orange calendar like this stuff i've never even known it's like just like google calendar but it's pre-built in your computer you can press new and you can like create events it gives you all these different types of options and i'm pretty sure you can integrate with your phone right mm -hmm. all this cool stuff like i, I never got into linux because of how crazy um it, it sounds difficult to me mm -hmm. but um but i think i'm gonna get into this um so if i click over here liberty os you get all different cool stuff like the terminal obviously if we go to accessories, you got the archive manager, bulk rename, clipboard manager, files, right? You got a calculator there, right? You got notes. Let's see the notes because I know a lot of people use that. It's a little bit transparent. It's pretty cool. Just keep some notes there. Let me see. Let me see some other stuff. Let's see. Uh, okay. You have education. Okay. So intelligent space <laughs> repetition memory training system. So basically like, like I, when I clicked it, it was basically like cards, um, like um, what are the index cards, right? But you can like code it. That's what I'm saying. It gives you a lot of freedom. And then you have cryptocurrency has preload with all these cool wallets that you can use, including Exodus. You know, you have a light, uh, Electrum, Litecoin wallet, Bitcoin wallet, Bitcoin cash wallet, Dash wallet, all the like main cryptocurrency. This is really cool. Dogecoin wallet. I think that's amazingly cool, man. I really do. Um, and if we come over here to development, all right i'm not gonna even go in that nobody's gonna use that let's go to games okay you can access some cool regular games we also have steam so if you guys you play any games on steam you can still play it with this um with this operating system you got graphics ebook reader cool um you have image viewer basically all the basic stuff digital painting interesting let's click that see what that does it's gonna take forever okay well that up uploads let's look at for more, more stuff so you have orange calendar global time you have basically these are the, the linux equivalents to like excel spreadsheet um and um microsoft word right pdf this is the equivalence and, and and when i when i looked at it it was just like really interesting there's a lot of you can get free video editing softwares that are high level very high level that actually are very you know intuitive like very powerful for free so nobody has any excuses if you want to like start a youtube channel if that's where you came to my channel in the first place you have no excuses guys you could easily do this with the linux operating system get your own like literally google search linux video editing software and you could easily find the best one i forgot the exact name of it but I'm, i think i'm going to use it i don't see why not i think i'm going to be using it soon so you got regular settings that you can like increase the keyboard um not the keyboard the mouse and touchpad you know sensitivity of the mic color profiles appearance basically the same thing as you know um it, obviously in the different places than windows but it's the same thing essentially they have all the same tools it's just they give you a little bit more freedom 
with Linux. That's what I've noticed. So, I mean, that's basically it, guys. You got all, you know, you have Google Chrome that you can go to, Telegram, you know, presentation, Dropbox, another wallet, you know, archive manager. It's basically the same thing as a regular operating system. Now, I'm going to give you a complete tutorial one way or another, but first thoughts, I think this is just really interesting. I think it's really interesting that you can, and they claim it's the first ad-free operating system. So supposedly, now don't quote me on this, but supposedly you can run things like Spotify, right, without any ads. Okay, I haven't actually tried it myself. And if you guys want me to make a follow video on this, let me know. If you kind of want to just try it for yourself, well, that's why I made a tutorial. Let me come jump back over here really quickly, see what's going on. Okay, so now that everything's kind of gone through, I'm not going to do it, but all you have to do is click install Liberty OS. Once you click install Liberty OS, if you don't know what's going on, basically I got two different desktops. One desktop that I already installed that I was showing you the review. And then this one I just installed showing you guys exactly. So remember I, I test and then this one was already, already installed. So I just click install Liberty OS. I don't want to do it because I'm going to delete this anyways. And then it's going to take you through a 30 to 40 minute, you know, install process. And then when you start it up again, let me just start it up. Let me power this machine off and power off the other one. All you have to do is click that you have already have this operating system. So this is the test one we made here. So all I have to do is right click or not right click, just start it. Just click the one you want to start. And this is an Oracle. So you just open Oracle, click the one you want to start. It's going to take you to this page right here, Oracle box, whatever. Take you to this page right here. And then instead of clicking boot Liberty OS, that's what you originally do. After you install it, you click a boot existing OS. And that will take you to the front page where you can type in your password and create your account. But yeah, I mean, that's it for this video, guys. First impression, I think it's very smooth. The fact that it's uh, low profile, doesn't use a lot of computer resources. In fact, it gives you all these tools for free that you most people would pay for. Most people would pay for Microsoft Word for free. I mean, for... Um, you know, you don't go buy a disc or they'll pay the monthly membership fee, right? And I just genuinely think, now I'm gonna uh, uh, verify everything I'm saying, obviously. I genuinely think it's pretty in interesting. And this is just the beta. They have a token launch, you know, that you guys can partake in. Um, so again, use my link below um, for all the resources to get this, to download it yourself, for the token launch, to get, you know, um, a virtual box, everything like that. And that's really it for this video. Let, let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. If you like the quality of this content, hit like. If you don't, leave some constructive criticism. Subscribe for more video updates. And like I always say, if you don't get with this technology, you will get left behind. Thanks for watching this video, guys. I'll catch you in the next one.